There are some other things to consider in customer segments besides jobs to be done and pain and gain. And that is, who's the customer? That, well, gee, I thought we'd just define the customer. It's the archetype. It's the persona. But sometimes, who's the customer in context is really what we need to know. In corporations, it's pretty easy to understand that you might have someone who uses the product, but they might not be the person who pays for the product. So there might be someone up here, the payer, let's give them a fancy name and call them the economic buyer. So we might be buying software for accounting to use, but it might be the chief financial officer who has to sign off for that. And in between this process, in a large company, you might have people who influence the decisions. You might have people who actually recommend who the vendors should be. You might have a decision maker who's the head of the department, but he still needs to pass off the final purchase to the chief financial officer. And surprisingly, if you spend enough time selling to companies, you might have saboteurs. And saboteurs in a company are individuals or organizations whose jobs feel threatened if a new piece of software or new process or new organization comes in place. And so in complicated business-to-business -business sales, you really need to know the archetypes for each one of these, even though you might think, oh, all I need to know is about my user. And then you might go, okay, well, then all we need to know is about the buyer. As we'll see later, you actually need to understand archetypes for all. Now, if you were kind of rolling your eyes going, well, I don't sell to businesses, I just sell to consumers, this isn't relevant to me, I want you to think of the case of selling entertainment software to teens. Well, think about it. You kind of say, well, the user, well, that's pretty simple. That's, that's the teen. How hard can that be? Well, if they don't have a job, the economic buyer are their parents. And... The influencers and recommenders may be their friends. And the decision maker, depending on your family, might be mom or dad or the kid or somebody else in between. And so when we think about business to consumer sales, you also need to start thinking about, is the user different than the payer? The last example is a personal one. I was uh, buying a car and I thought, how simple could that be? I was the customer. <laughs> Little did I know having two teenage daughters, that that really wasn't the case. Because when I started talking about my car, or a potential car, my daughter said, Dad, you can't buy that type of car. We wouldn't be caught dead in it. And I looked at them and said, well, the car's not for you. They said, oh, we just won't even be riding in it. And they said, well, listen, if you buy that car, you can't get that color. And this conversation went on for a long time until finally we were able to make a decision. And I realized that the final decision maker in our household was my wife.